All right, this will be clutch number three for 2023. Again, a clutch that started breeding in 2022. Uh, this is our Ultramel uh, Ghost Girl bred to our uh, Ultramel Pinstripe Boy. She was also bred to our Ultramel Doublehead Ghost Pied Boy, but we don't think he's the one who took. We believe it's going to be the Ultramel Pinstripe Boy, so it will be easy to tell. Um, if we see pinstripe stuff, we'll know that that was him. If we see ghost stuff, we'll know it's the other one, or non-visual... Um, or no, sorry, just ghost stuff. We'll know it's the other one. So, um, she's got a whole bunch of rollouts here. We're going to go ahead and get her off of here and see what we got. All right, eight good eggs. Uh, one was infertile out of all of them, so nine in total, eight looking great. Uh, 112 grams per egg. We're going to go ahead and get these in the incubator, and we'll be back here in 55 days. All right, clutch number three for 2023, day 55. We already have two pipping. Um, this was our Ultramel Ghost female to our Ultramel Pinstripe male. Hold on one second, guys. Hopefully quiet down the cricket noise just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe not a lot. Um, so everything should be visual Ultramel. We're also looking for Pinstripe as far as codoms, and then everything is 100% Het Ghost. And uh, we're gonna start calling that Hypo instead of Ghost because we get so much confusion with Desert Ghost. So 100% Het Hypo. So let me start with the two Pippers. I'm gonna start with this one that pulled their head back in and has a whole bunch of cuts. Make sure they can uh, get their head yeah. out because they have a cut here on the side too. And make sure they didn't cut into the egg next to them on the side. It's one of the reasons we don't like our eggs right next to each other is you get these side cuts and you gotta be careful they're not cutting into their neighbor. Um, so good news is I feel them moving in my hand. So that's a good sign. Well, especially if they pulled their head back in. You, did you see their head I out? I saw their head okay, out. Okay, I didn't <laughs> see their head out. So that's a good thing too. You were in that incubator room before I was. Mm -hmm. All right, so good news is that's Ooh. an ultra male. Lots of Bare, movement. Barely touched them and they were like, don't <clears> touch <throat> me. Um, <laughs> so ultra male. It's also um, the first clutch we've had with this girl where we actually proved out her ultra male. We've had clutches before, but um, it was like a triple head pairing. So we weren't able to prove out her ultra male mm -hmm. for ourselves, even though she was sold as ultra male and she Looks ultra male. There we go. Let them get their head back in. All right. It's just another regular ultra male. No pinstripe in that one. And again, everything's 100% head hypo. I think. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. I'm so start. choppy. Now that I got them, we'll do this. All right. <clears throat> Another straight ultra male. What I'm noticing though from cutting these ultra males is they're a lot darker than a lot of the other ultra males that we've cut. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons we, we want to do this clutch is because even though she's ultra male ghost, she's, she's got different coloring than other ultra male ghosts we've seen. So we were a little concerned that maybe she was actually um, caramel instead of ultra male or something else. Um, so we wanted to actually breed her to one of our ultra males to make sure we got ultra males. And these are some dark ultra males. All of them are. Did you mean caramel? Yeah, caramel, that's what, caramel, that's what I said. <laughs> it's a debate here, caramel, caramel. Anyway, um, another ultra male there. Still no pinstripe, which is interesting. This was to our pinstripe ultra male, right, Holly? Yes, to Galahad. Yeah, that's our pinstripe ultra male. Apparently he did not want to pass on any pinstriping. Watch, this is the one you open that they are. Nope. Another ultra male? Another ultra male. Now, I can't really see through the viewfinder very well, as I've said many times before. Does that one look different? No. Nope. The, the, uh, you know, the color on that one looks slightly different. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to go back and look to see if there are any other possible males that we put this to. There's no pins in any of this stuff so far. Which is a little surprising. And that's just another Ultra Mel. And again, these colors are a little odd as well. <clears throat> so, I don't know what else we would have bred her to, though. I don't think anything. Well, when we come back with the shed out, we'll, we'll double check um, to make sure that she wasn't anything else. Typically, if she, the female did lock with anything else, we'll uh, write it on our incubator to be like, hey, just yeah, possibly, possibly so. this one. Mm -hmm. But there was nothing written there for her. But there are no pinstripes in any of that stuff. 
just a whole bunch of Ultramels um, with some huge color variation between them. Like the color between that one and this one is staggering. So we're going to go ahead and let them all um, come out, shut out, and we will see what we got. All right, push shed for clutch number three. Uh, we went back and looked at our records and that Ultramel Ghost Girl that we had did actually lock with our uh, visual Ultramel Het Ghost Het Pied mail previous to the Ultramel um, Pinstripe mail. So seeing as what we got here, we're assuming he took the clutch, um, even though it was like six months before um, the other mail even started locking, like eight months before she laid. So. Um, these four over here are Ultramel Ghost, or sorry, Ultramel Hypo, um, same thing, um, and 50% Het Pied. These three over here are Ultramel, guaranteed. Now, there is also the possibility that um, this is a dual sired clutch and that the Ultramel Pinstripe sired one of these three and we wouldn't know. So we're going to sell them as just Ultramels but they could also be 50% Het Pied and 50% Het Hypo. Uh, but just to be safe, we always like to sell things for less than what they are, just in case, you know, they aren't that, so. Um, but great results from the clutch. Couldn't be happier with what we got here. So mm -hmm. I think that's all we got. Holly, anything else? No, nope, right. they all look nice. Well, that's it for this clutch. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.